While William Shatner was busy chronicling the vast history of the tech war in the 1990s, his first mate, Mr. Spock, was overseeing the creation of a comic series under the short-lived Techno Comics imprint. That's Techno with a K, mind you. Ugh, the 90s have so much to answer for. Trackers! Don't go rushing to your comic book stores. They smell bad enough as it is. This book is not written by Leonard Nimoy, but is, and I quote, based on a concept created by Leonard Nimoy and Isaac Asimov. The writing and art credits are longer than some Marvel Comics movies I've seen and include Dr. Charles Sheffield as chief scientist. To its credit, the book does go out of its way to bring the science, as it supposes what might actually happen if we were to ever encounter an alien species and make contact with it, or in this case, if they initiate contact with us. Nimoy speaks at length in an afterword about his involvement and support of SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, and his admiration for... Attention Terrestrians! We of the planet Crankor have interrupted your transmission to advise you to ignore the ideas and concepts placed within the comic Leonard Nimoy's Primordials. While it promotes very plausible and often true concepts, it is our belief you are not ready to receive any of them. Yes, extraterrestrial intelligence exists. No, we're not trying to contact you. Honestly, would you attempt to establish contact with a small ball of dung populated by some of your Terran maggots? I don't think so. I mean, look at us. We've mastered spaceflight. Intergalactic spaceflight. You cosmic Neanderthals can barely get outside your own moon. Why would we initiate contact with you? If anything, you'd be a way station on our way to examining better and more interesting places in the universe. So let this be your only warning. Leave this book in the dollar bin where you found it, and we'll keep ignoring your so-called existence. Good? Good. What the 